Hey everyone, I'm Sarah. And I'm Brandon. And, and this, this is, is Fish or Price Ranch. Ranch. Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Sarah with Fisher Price Ranch. First off, please don't forget to subscribe and like this video. So uh, this is my second video on what's going on with our goats in this area. And we don't have any answers yet as far as testing goes. We've had crazy weather and so we haven't been able to even test for anything yet. Um, but I've been posting a lot online and talking to other ranchers in the area. And I think we may have figured out the problem already without doing any testing. We're still going to do testing just to confirm it, but I'm already going to start working toward fixing this possible problem. So everything has pointed to something in the water um, because, you know, we haven't really changed much feed on the animals since we moved here, um, you know, and the only major difference in their lifestyle really is the water. And so after talking with a lot of ranchers in the area and also looking online at what other people um, or even companies are doing is water filtration system. So apparently the well water around here is really high in iron and iron will deplete copper zinc, selenium, all those major minerals that the goats need to thrive. Um, so that's why our goats' uh, coats are looking really rough is because of the copper deficiency. And when they don't have those minerals, the selenium really um, is for their joints and their muscles and growing. Same with the zinc and the copper. The copper is going to help with their hair. And also, you know, between the three minerals, it really makes them a super healthy goat as far as growing and having a good overall health to their body condition. Um, I hope that makes sense. I'm just kind of rambling there. But um, anyway, so with those minerals depleted, it's going to really affect their overall health. So what we're seeing now is um, a lot of people that have moved to the area that had really healthy goats before, it would take about a year or so before they started seeing the goats declining. And it's a gradual decline because when they are ingesting the water with the high iron, it's not going to immediately deplete their minerals. It's going to take time because their body is already level with the amount of minerals that they need. So depleting it takes a lot of time. And so most people that have moved here have been seeing a difference at about a year or so. And we are at that point. We've been here for just over a year. But the problem is, is once those minerals are depleted, it's really hard to bring them back when you're constantly giving them the water with the high iron. So I think this is our official issue. Uh, like I said, we're still going to be testing everything just to be a completely 100% sure. But now that I think I have an answer, we're already like moving forward to fix this problem. So we've already purchased, last night we purchased a water filtration system. And that's going to pull out all that extra iron and also any sediment and stuff like that. So when you have a well and you're pulling water from out of the ground, you end up getting sand and dirt and other debris also in your water. So you want to filter it. So what we do is it, it runs into a big um, water storage tank and then everything kind of settles to the bottom and the valve is up higher than the bottom, so that sediment sits in the bottom and it doesn't come through when you're using the water. So that's the way that you kind of get rid of that into the actual water that you're going to be drinking or using. Um, but it's still going into the water tank. So with this filtration system, it will get rid of the iron and hopefully fix that major problem. But now that, like I said, now that we've got that figured out, we're going to hopefully get that installed. I will show you guys in the next video on installing that. But also, um, now that we have that figured out, like I said, I want to start getting minerals back into the goats. So what we've got, I've picked up a whole bunch of stuff. So let me gather it all up real quick and I'm going to show you guys what we're going to be doing today. 
All right, so the more, most important thing right now is the selenium, copper, and zinc. And a, just over a week ago, we already gave the goats a shot of BOC, which is a selenium and vitamin E. So they've already got that in their system. And now, since we gave it to them, yes, they're still on that water, but it's not going to deplete it super fast. So I don't need to give it to them again. If we give it too often, we can overdose them. So you always want to be careful when giving minerals because you don't want to overdose. So what we've got now is we've got our copper. And uh, this is going to, it's a pill. And so what it does is when you give it to them, it slowly releases into their body over um, six to eight months. But because we're so copper deficient in our area, we were already giving it every six months, but because the water is depleting it, it's not staying in their body long enough. So we're gonna give this pill, hopefully, like I said, fix the water, so then we won't have to worry about that. But anyway, so we're gonna give them the copper. Also, copper uh, binds zinc, and so it depletes their body of zinc. So we got, these are just from the store for people. And so we got two bottles, and each uh, goat is going to get two pills. That's 50 milligrams. So it'll be 100 milligrams of zinc with the copper. And then what we're also going to do is we have some vitamin B complex, and you can get this at any local farm store or online. Um, and we're going to give everybody a shot of vitamin B. And then also... Uh, so that's what everybody's going to get, except for the kids. The kids are too small or too young. They can't have these yet. Um, but they will get it through their mother through the milk. So now the problem that I'm having is because it's depleted my goat so much, their overall health condition is so poor right now that now they're like on reserve. So they're, they do not want to produce milk anymore because their body can't handle it. So they're starting to dry up, which is causing all my problems with the kids. Um... So I'm trying my hardest, if we can get this done today, I'm hoping it will give them enough into their body that uh, they can start producing more milk. I'm trying to catch it before they completely dry up and hopefully it'll bring them back into milk. So what we're going to be doing is giving them a vitamin C shot. And I also ordered, or I went to Tractor Supply and I picked up the CMPK. And what this has is it has a bunch of calcium in it, but it also has phosphorus, magnesium, potassium, and dextrose. So this is going to really jumpstart their body and give them what they need to hopefully produce more milk. Um, I'm also going to be giving them, drenching them all with a little bit of molasses water. That's just going to help their body just like get a good boost of um, sugars and stuff to just get them moving. Also, what we're going to be doing is upping all of their feed. Um, even though they're already free fed their hay, we're going to give them extra alfalfa hay, but also I'm going to show you guys we're, what we're going to be adding to help start getting more weight in their body. So I think with adding all this stuff, it's going to really jump up their minerals. Also, um, we have ordered the mineral buffet and I will do a video on that specifically because it's very new to me and I'm still doing a little bit more research on it, but I think it's the best idea for us. So Definitely look for a video on the Mineral Buffet, and I'll just do a video strictly on that when it comes in. It's going to be probably at least another week, week and a half before it gets here. So I want to get all this into them as soon as possible to try and get them started on adding more minerals back into their diet. And then as soon as the Mineral Buffet comes in, then we can uh, get them onto that, and then hopefully things will level out. It takes quite a while, a few months before their body will start getting enough of what they need, especially once we fix the problem. So um, this is kind of just an update of what we're doing. Um, like I said, I'm going to show you guys what we're going to add into their diet. It's stuff they're already getting, but we're adding a little bit of beet pulp, and that's just going to help them start gaining weight because they just they look so horrible. So that's what we're going to be doing today. All right, so we're filling water. We've got uh, oats, and we're adding in the beet pulp pellets. We need to get weight back on these girls. So we're, you always want to soak your beet pulp because it expands like crazy. This bucket was already the same height as this one. And look at how much that one's expanded already. And it hasn't even been that long. So it'll expand for quite a while. We do hot water because it'll expand quicker than cold water. So we can get it out to the girls a lot faster. All right, so it's been soaking for about an hour and a half. And as you can see, these buckets are full and they actually started overflowing onto the floor. So now this bucket is half full. Um, but now you can see how much that expands. So this is why you want to soak them because if you don't and you give them the um, beet pulp pellets, it's gonna expand like that in their belly and they can get bloated. So always make sure to soak your beet pulp pellets. 
So first we're going to be given the vitamin shot. And this is just going to go in the skin right here. Easy, sweetheart. Okay, there's her vitamins. Easy, babe. And then next we're going to be giving the copper. And we have a gun here. And it's just going to help get it down her throat. Good girl. Okay, good. Baby, go. Go. And then next is our zinc pills. Come, move your fingers. Easy, girl. All right, so the problem is they don't like the taste of these and they don't fit in the gun. So what I figured out that works is we're going to put the pills in her mouth. And then while they're in her mouth, we're drenching her with some molasses water, which tastes good, and it makes her swallow. Try to save him from screaming. You get him down? Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay, and then... We're giving him the CMPK, which is the calcium. This stuff burns when it goes down, so they don't like it. So we're going to get down to the back of the throat and make them swallow and then we're going to let them rinse it down with some more molasses water. Probably you need to pay attention to the phone. Yeah, that tastes much better. Okay. Alright you guys, we got the goats all done. Got a little bit of an injury on the head. No thanks to a tree. <laughs> Uh, but all the girls are done. We've got we still have the boys to do uh, Just ran out of time, but at least all the girls are done They've got all their vitamins and minerals and and everything we can absolutely give them right this minute um, So I do feel a little bit better. Hopefully we'll start to see a difference within the next couple of weeks um, So I'll show you guys I'll do a quick more one more video of the girls and what they look like right now for comparison and I'm going to shoot uh, some video of their udder as well I'm hoping within a week or so we could start to see their udders getting bigger if we caught it in time uh, with upping the feed and giving them all the extra calcium and everything. I'm hoping that their udders will start to get bigger and produce more milk for these kids. All right, so here's some of our girls. Now Pinky here, you can see how thin she is, but also you look at her udder. Normally it's twice that size, so here's a good comparison. Same with Sabrina. Her udder's pretty small. Um, and they're both nursing twins right now, so those will be a good comparison to look at here in a couple of weeks. Hopefully we'll see something a lot sooner. Bonnie's another one. Now Bonnie had triplets. She already lost one. I've got one on a bottle, and we had to save that one the other night that wasn't doing well. Can you hop up there, girl? And she's one of my best does, and she's just... You can see how tiny that udder is. There's barely anything there. So she's having a real rough time right now trying to feed her one baby that she's trying to take care of. A huge shout out to Crystal Johnston. She is uh, a huge help. She came out today and helped me for a couple hours to get this done with all the girls. She is also starting out her YouTube channel. So if you guys want to go check that out, it's Rocking JC's Goat Farm. And I'll put her description down below. You guys can click on that. Go subscribe and check out hers. She's got some of the goats that were on our property as well. So you guys can continue their story over there. So thank you guys so much for watching. We'll continue updating on the situation uh, with more videos to come. See you guys again soon.